Stone lifting has been a test of strength for centuries with various different types of challenges ranging from carrying, lifting, shouldering and overhead pressing. Many countries have their own stone challenges but two of the most famous stone lifting nations are Iceland and Scotland where they would use stones to test a man's manhood and see if he'd be worthy of working on the fishing boats. The Icelandic stones translated into English were useless which was a 23 kilo stone, weakling, which was set at 54 kilos, half strength at 100 kilos, and the big mighty full strength stone weighing 154 kilograms. There are many famous Scottish stones, but four of the most classic are the Menzies stone, the Dinny stones, the Inver stone, and probably most famously the McGlashan stones, which were the original stones used at World's Strongest Man. It's a common... The same set of stones were used again two years later at the 1988 World's Strongest Man contest. This year, just two athletes were capable of lifting all five, Bill Kausmeyer and again Jean-Paul Sigmason. This was long before where athletes were practicing on stones regularly in the gym, nor did they have the use of tacky to help them with the grip. In 1989, we saw a variation to the event, where athletes had to pick up a stone from the floor to their shoulder as many times as possible. During the event, we saw much-loved World's Strongest Man regular, John Pollock, have a stone dropped on his foot, and he narrowly missed it hitting him a second time when a stone was dropped and started rolling towards spectators. The term stones of strength were used at the World's Strongest Man in the 1991 competition, where Henning Thorson managed to complete a stone run in 40 seconds. This was nine seconds faster than Magnus Fur Magnussen, who took second place in the event before taking the overall win and becoming the 1991 champion. We saw some exceptionally close battles in the years that followed. In 1993, all of the athletes were able to complete the stone run and just a fraction of a second separated Gary Taylor and Magnus Fur Magnussen, with Gary taking the win in the event and becoming the overall champion that year. In 1994, we were treated to another classic battle, this time between Magnus Fur Magnussen and Manfred Herbel. The two athletes were tied for points going into the final event and Magnus beat Manfred on the stones by less than a second, making him the World's Strongest Man champion once again. Unlike the earlier years, where few athletes were capable of completing the stone run, the Atlas Stones were fast becoming an exciting way to end the show and decide the World's Strongest Man winner. However, it wasn't until 1998 that the Stones would become a staple event at the World's Strongest Man. The competition that year was held in the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, and it was there the event name was changed to the Atlas Stones. The name stems from Greek mythology, where Zeus condemned Atlas to hold up the heavens for all eternity. The weight of the Stones also increased during this period. The first stone was still 95 kilos, but the fifth stone was a hefty 165. The height of the platforms were also raised at this time, and the lightest stone had to be lifted to around six foot, with the platforms becoming progressively lower as the weights increased. In 2003's World's Strongest Man, the organizers decided to ban the use of tacky, which led to fewer athletes being able to complete the stone run. Meanwhile, over in the Strongman Super Series, which had notoriously heavy events, the weights of the heaviest Atlas Stones had already increased to 180 kilograms. In 2007, the Arnold Strongman Classic introduced the Manhood Stones, which was a stone over the bar event. The stones weighed 220 and 237 kilos, and it was the first time we saw such heavy stones used in competition. At the 2010 Arnold Strongman Classic, Brian Shaw and Derek Poundstone took stone lifting to a whole new level when they each lifted a 242 kilogram stone 
three times. Brian did it faster, taking the event win and setting a new world record. In 2016, at the Rogue Record Breakers show held after the Arnold Strongman Classic, Brian Shaw lifted a 252 kilogram stone to break his own world record for the heaviest stone lifted over a bar. And in 2017, Brian was back for more, this time lifting a 254 kilogram stone. Martins Lissis also attempted this stone, but unfortunately was unsuccessful. At the 2019 World Ultimate Strongman Show, Beasts in the Middle East, for the first time ever, we saw a 10 stone run, with weights ranging from 100 kilos to 200 kilos. Amazingly, four athletes were able to complete the run. Brian Shaw, J.F. Caron, Luke Stoltman, and his younger brother, Tom Stoltman. Brian, J.F., and Luke completed the event with times ranging between 1 minute 2 seconds to 2 minutes 10 seconds. Tom finished the run in an incredible 40 seconds, firmly cementing himself as one of the world's best stone lifters. And at the 2020 Rogue Record Breakers, Tom Stoltman lifted a 256 kilogram stone and then a huge 273 kilo stone to smash the world record, taking stone lifting traditions and records back to the Scottish Highlands. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit and sporting events across the globe were cancelled, the World Ultimate Strongman hosted the Feats of Strength series to give athletes an opportunity to train and break strongman records. As part of the series, Tom took the record up again when he lifted an incredible 286 kilo stone and almost made it look easy. He's now looking to smash the record again, lifting a beautifully crafted 304 kilogram stone made by Atlas Endurance. I for one would love to see a battle between Tom, Brian and Thor going head to head for a max stone or heavy stone for reps. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this brief look at the history of the Atlas Stones. It's an incredibly iconic event in Strongman and one that has decided so many huge contests. Guys, make sure you comment below and let me know your favorite and most iconic stone lifting battles. Also, let me know who your favorite stone lifter is. Who do you think is gonna take the record into a kind of completely new territory? We've got Tom Stockman going for the 304 kilo stone pretty soon, but you've got the likes of Lissis, um, Kilius Koski, you can always have danger men like Thor and Brian, they are incredible stone lifters and there's always new guys that are hungry to, to impress. Let me know your thoughts guys, we'll be back soon with more of the History of series and we'll see you soon.